My name is Dr. Ryan Smith. I'm a fellow of music here at New St. Andrews College. I teach piano lessons in the conservatory as well as music history and music theory. Western society has encapsulated a lot of its beauty, a lot of its values, a lot of its history into its classical music. So it's not surprising that with music we have connections to literature, to history, certainly to the math and to the sciences, but also to rhetoric and philosophy. And so it's so important for us as uh, musicians and just as, as Christians to understand music so that we can better understand our culture and our civilization. And the reason we study classical music specifically as opposed to pop music or jazz or the blues or whatever is because we believe that classical music is the pinnacle of musical uh, development. So no one says that a McDonald's hamburger is better than a juicy ribeye steak. Or no one says that the concrete bridge up on 95 is a much finer bridge than the Golden Gate. It's not that both aren't utilitarian, but it's not inherently more sophisticated or using a higher level of craftsmanship than, it's, um, than, the, than the greater comparison. It's the same thing with music. Classical music is crafted at a much higher level with a greater, um, a greater attention to transcendence than these other forms of music. So that's why we believe here at NSA it's important not only to study about it, but to create it, to learn how to perform it, to learn how to compose it, and to learn how to listen critically to make value judgments about music. As Christians, we have even more of an impetus to study music because God's people are singing people. Going all the way back to Genesis, all the way through Revelation, we have, um, we have seen music be an important part of what it means to be worshipers of the Triune God. And so it's no coincidence at all that Western music over the past few centuries has been wed, um, wed to the, the music of the church. And so the development of classical music really took place in the context of the church. And so it's our job to recover that, to teach students how to understand music, how to sing it, how to perform it, how to compose it, and how to listen to it with excellence.